The rich bounty of plants in the Pantanal all benefit from the snail's constant feeding and recycling. But the snail's banquet comes with a price. It's August, and the annual drought transforms the wetland into a vast grassy plain dotted with small muddy pools. The snails are left high and dry, exposed and tasty. They make a meal for millions of predators, especially caimans. The calcium in the snail's shell helps the caimans to thicken their skins. Being on the menu is bad enough, but to continue their vital role of recycling, the surviving snails have to overcome a much bigger challenge, one which puts the whole ecosystem of the Pantanal on a knife edge. Heavy rains return to the highlands of South America. The swollen rivers burst their banks and once again flood across the grassy plains. Surprisingly, this is the most dangerous time for the ecosystem. Millions of tons of swamped grass begin to rot, rapidly using up the most important ingredient for life, oxygen. The Pantanal is suffocating. It needs the snail to recycle the dead grass and unlock the nutrients. But without oxygen, the snail can't survive to do its job. Thankfully, the snail has a secret weapon. Uniquely, apple snails possess a specially adapted telescopic appendage, which can extend to eight centimeters. A snorkel. He's pumping air from the surface straight to a special lung. Now he has enough oxygen to return to what he does best. Recycling dead matter. Out of sight, oxygen or no oxygen, the constant feeding of millions of apple snails keeps the Pantanal alive and rich with nutrients, no matter what the vast wetland throws at it.